Right now, I am on a culinary trip to explore the gastronomic offer. I really love good food and love to have a dining experience. My palate is always delighted to try out great variety. I like hanging out and love to have the real, authentic, tasty food. Peru is a land of diverse and delicious cuisine. It is home to dishes and flavors you won't find anywhere else in the world. It offers an infinity of flavors and culinary versions that make its cuisine one of the best in the world. It is known as the best culinary destinations in the world. Considered the most varied and eclectic cuisine in the world, Peruvian food offers something for the meat eaters and vegetarians at the same time. Peruvian food is so simple yet amazingly flavored with their traditional spices. The country boasts of a variety of refreshing beverages and food. There are over hundreds of Peruvian dishes, wide range of energizing juices, mocktails and cocktails. Peru's wide range of climate, ecosystem, environment enable the growth and production of many products, making Peruvian cuisine diverse and special. So those who intend to visit this country, be assured that your visit will not only be a heavenly journey of ancient ruins, vibrant culture, sounds and colors, but also of unforgettable flavors that will melt your palate with a unique Peruvian flavor. Peruvian food is all about a variety of indigenous ingredients, spices and flavors with a variety of jumble and combinations of hot and cold, acidic and starchy, robust and delicate, clean and crisp, deep and heavy, bitter and sweet. While gastronomy mostly focuses on gourmet, culinary arts formulate, provide insights to regions and religions because of the physical practices of preparation. To find more exotic ingredients, gastronomic innovation is constantly in action to offer the best taste. In other words, the evolution of Peruvian food continues with all combinations of old and new. Peru has so much diversity when it comes to food, not just in non-vegetarian, but in vegetarian too. With an abundance of seafood, chicken, beef, pork and guinea pig on the menu, you might wonder if there's anything available for herbivores. Yes, of course, there is, but you will need to seek it out. The key to finding the right food is knowing a little bit about the history and unique cuisine of this country. Local Peruvian food is purely organic and unique. The eclectic flavors created with organic vegetables, grains, fruits, and spices is sure to please most vegetarians. Peruvians maintain adequate nutrition with the consumption of Peruvian staple foods. Staple ingredients traditional to Peru include rice, corn, legumes, quinoa, caniva, kiwicha, potatoes, and other tubers. While not a grain, peanut plants originated in South America with the Incas. In ancient civilizations, peanuts became sacrificial offerings and were entombed with mummies. Today, they offer vegetarians another snacking or ingredient option. Various and diverse varieties originated with the indigenous populations from pre-Inca to Inca times. Gradually over time, the evolution of food continued with Spanish, Italian, and German influences adding European flavor. Chinese and Japanese cuisine lent Asian leanings. Not to forget, 
Peru has Latin America's largest Chinese population and the second largest Japanese population. West African, French, and British influence transformed Peruvian dishes even further. Immigrants from these countries adapted their home recipes and home traditions to include local Peruvian ingredients. One of my favorite things associated with gastronomy in Peru is sampling ceviche and pisco sour in different restaurants. I am a spicy adventurer, so I would ask the chefs of various restaurants to add an extra bunch of rocoto. Rocoto resembles a red, yellow or green pepper. This chili gives a great deal more kick to Peruvian dishes and the palate. With fruits and vegetables in abundance, cooking up a vegetarian meal or a snack without meat is entirely possible. While adapting ingredients and ordering strictly vegetarian in restaurants is possible, your dietary concerns may require an awareness of cooking practices and hidden ingredients. Visitors need to pay attention to ingredients listed on the menu and be willing to ask questions to the chefs. Non-vegetarian friendly ingredients like chicken broth and milk may appear in vegetarian meals. Some chefs will not blink at cooking with butter for vegans. Simply being a vegetarian might mean that you spend a few dollars more than the rest to maintain your dietary requirements at Peru. But not to worry, this nation has a variety of food to offer to satiate your hunger. No doubt, Peru is a gastronomically diverse country. Peruvian ceviche is the national dish of Peru. One must surely try this dish during their visit to this gastronomically diverse country. In fact, many travelers come from all over the world just to get the taste of some of the freshest Peruvian ceviches. The most important ingredient of ceviche is the fish, followed by the quality of the lime used. The lime in Peru is unique to the region and much more suitable for making ceviche than any other lime. The acidity of the lime juice actually cooks the fish, killing all the harmful parasites and bacteria. So, you must know how strong Peruvian limes are. Combined with other fresh ingredients such as red onion and cilantro, the Peruvian ceviche gives off a flavor that is unique in its own ways. Traditionally, it is made with chili peppers to give it some spice making the Peruvian ceviche much different than any other ceviche. As it is said, there is no good food without the company of a good Peruvian drink. So, let me take you through the taste of traditional Peruvian national drink. That is, Pisco Sour. You might wonder, what exactly is Pisco Sour? Well, Pisco Sour is Peru's national drink. It's the most popular drink of Peru. In fact, it is so special to Peruvians that it has its own public holiday in honor of it. The National Day of Pisco Sour is celebrated annually in Peru on the first Saturday of February. Pisco Sour is a cocktail that originated in Lima. The base liquor in this cocktail is Pisco. Pisco is a grape-based brandy. It is Peru's most popular liquor today, originally distilled by Spaniards during the 16th century. Victor Warren Morris, an American bartender from a respected Mormon family of Welsh ancestry, created this drink. Morris, who often experimented with new drinks, created the Pisco Sour as a variant of the Whiskey Sour. This exotic and exquisite Peruvian drink has lime juice, Peruvian Pisco liquor, sweet syrup, egg white, 
eyes, bitters, and cinnamon powder. Pisco sour is the iconic drink amongst the Peruvian alcoholic drinks. In my opinion, or with the upcoming new generations who are always on a lookout for the new zinc thing, Pisco sour, I guess, is still evolving into its best form by various new combinations. I just fell in love with this drink and would go around ordering this drink in almost all the restaurants. Exact date and year of its invention is not clear. Some say it was created in the year 1950. Mixologist Dale DeGroff asserts that the drink was invented in 1920s, while one of the Chilean newspapers attribute the year of its invention as 1922. The art of renewing and evolving the food towards healthy eating marks Peru one of the world's leading nations in terms of gastronomy. Peruvian cuisine and beverages definitely has left an indelible mark on me. And I'm happy that I got the opportunity to taste this country's food and drink in its most authentic flavor. Signing off. Keep on keeping on.